With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us try to solve the given problem. So the given problem states a ball of mass 100 gram is projected vertically upward. So there is a ball of mass 100 grams and it is projected vertically upward from the ground with the initial velocity of 49 meter per second. At the same time, another identical ball is dropped from the height of 98 meter to fall freely along the same path as that followed by the first ball. Now, after some time, the two balls collide and stick together and finally falls to the ground. Right, so they uh, collide with each other and finally they fall to the ground. The combined mass fall to the ground. Now, we have to find the time of flight of the masses. So, let us try to find out. So you see, this is what I have drawn. Here we have a ball. It is projected with some initial velocity and this is given that u here is 49 meter per second. So this will move upward and this is draw from an initial velocity 0. So this will move downward. Now both will be acted upon by the same acceleration that is g downward, right? Now you can see here, uh, let us say that they collide at some point, you know, during that journey, this uh, ball will have to cover a distance h1, let us say this travels a distance h1 and the upper ball travel, uh, travels a distance h2 and let us say they collide after time t, right? So if they collide, what will be the condition then h1 is the distance traveled by this particle in time t and h2 is the distance traveled by the upward particle in time t. So both will be simply equals to the total distance if they have to collide in the same time. So this should be equal to the total distance. So from here what we can find, we can find out what is the time after which they collide. Now let us see. Simply h1 will be equals to ut minus half g t square and h2 will be simply equals to this h2 it is dropping from zero height and this will be simply equals to half g t square right because the initial speed is zero this is simply equals to h so if you find out t from here what we are going to get t is simply 98 divided by 49 because you see that this will cancel out so t we are going to get two seconds so they will collide after two seconds and now let us find one more thing that what is the height this height the particle covers after let us try to find h1 also so h1 will be simply equals to u1 t minus half g t square now let us try to put the value so u is simply 49 time is 2 minus this g we are taking as 9.8 so this will be 4.9 into 4 so from here what we are going to get we are going to get h1 equals to 78.4 meter so we can also find the h2 but we need not to find so this is the second thing that we need to find now let us try to find out their velocities what will be their velocities? Let us suppose that this has velocity after 2 seconds in the upward direction and this has velocity in the downward direction. Let us say V2. So let us now try to find out V1 and V2 because we will need that in the later part of the question. So V1 will be simply equals to U minus GT. So from here we find out U is 49, G is 9.8 and this is 2. So we are going to get this as so you can see here we have put the values and we have found out that this is moving with the velocity of 29.4 meter per second and the top ball or the ball that is falling from the upward direction is moving with the velocity of 19.6 meter per second. Now let us move to the next part of this question. So it says that they stick together and finally falls to the ground right. So what will happen we can see that when they stick to the ground something so you can see here when they stick together they will have mass 2m right so the mass 2m and the net momentum will be in the upward direction now why the net momentum will be in the upward direction because if you see the value of velocities so v1 that is the velocity of the mass moving from the downward direction is more 29.4 meter per second and the velocity of the top ball is less both have equal masses so the net momentum will be simply in the upward direction we can also find out the net momentum in the net initial momentum in the upward direction right 
so we can simply find out see this will be m into 29.4 minus m into 19.6 so if we solve for this what we are going to get we are going to, so we are going to get initial momentum before collision is in the upward direction now since there are no external forces acting during the collision so this initial momentum 9.8 m has to be equals to the final momentum of this combined mass so its mass is 2 m and let us say its velocity is v so we can see that m and m will cancel out so its velocity will be simply equals to 4.9 meter per second so this mass has velocity equals to 4.9 meter per second now let's see what will so now let's try to find out which type of motion this ball will make so you see it has initial velocity in the upward direction equals to 4.9 meter per second so this ball will move to a highest point and let us say the height moved by this ball is h dash and the time taken by is, is t dash so we will find this time then it will simply fall down from that height so that time will be t double dash so now we have to find these times right and let this height will be h double dash so we will also find this so let us now try to find out t dash and t double dash and then we will add 2 also because during the 2 seconds the ball simply collided so let us now try to find out so how do we find out this time t dash uh, final velocity is simply 0 we can apply v dash is simply equals to v minus g t dash so this is 0 so this is 4.9 divided by 9.8 so this will give you t dash so t dash comes out to be simply 0 0.5 seconds now we can find out h dash so h dash will be simply equals to this v square divided by 2g so v is 4.9 square divided by 2 into 9.8 so from here we are going to get h dash equals to simply 1 point h dash will be simply equals to 1.22 meters right now we know the total height this h double dash will be simply equals to we can move on to the last part says h double dash will be simply equals to 78.4 plus 1.22 so h double dash will be simply equals to 79.62 meters we can find out t double dash so t double dash h double dash will be simply equals to half times g t double dash square so from here we can find out t double dash so t double dash comes if we put the values t double dash comes out to be simply 4 seconds and now we can find out the total time of flight so you see that initially the ball collided in 2 seconds so that is the time then the combined mass moved for 0 0.5 seconds in the upward direction then the combined mass falls down to the ground in 4 seconds so if you find out the total time so this will be 6.5 seconds i hope you understood the explanation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today